Welcome back. In this video, I want to introduce you to a tool that is really helpful as a beginner. And that is the Testing Playground Chrome extension. Testing Playground is an extension that helps you find the best queries to select elements when working with testing library. It allows you to inspect the element hierarchies in the developer tools and provides you with suggestions on how to select them while encouraging good testing practices. Let's understand how it works. Step one, Google Testing Playground Chrome extension and install it. Step two, head over to the tab where your React app is running. You can see I have now included the job application component as well in our app component. Step three, open DevTools. Here, you should see a new panel called Testing Playground. If you don't see it, refresh the tab or open localhost in a new tab. Step four, select the pointer tool and hover over an element. Testing Playground will suggest the best query to find that element in your test. You can click on the copy button and paste it in VS Code. You can also see different queries based on priority. We have get by role, which is a query accessible to everyone, and we can select the element using get by text as well. If I hover over the input with value Vishwas, you can see the suggested query is get by role, but we can also find label text, placeholder text, and display value. As an added bonus, if you have selected an element in the elements panel and switch over to the testing playground panel, the query to find the element is already present, which you can copy. I found this extension a bit too late when learning about testing library. So I wanted to make sure you're aware of it now that you know what exactly are queries in React testing library. To summarize, we can use the testing playground Chrome extension to find the best queries to select elements when writing tests. When you install the extension, it will add a new panel to the Chrome dev tools, which allows you to select elements in the browser while suggesting the best way to find that element. With that, we come to the end of the fourth section in this series, which is once again a smaller part of the wider React testing library concepts. In this section, we have learned how to query multiple elements, how to use query by and query all by methods to assert against elements not present in the DOM, how to use find by and find all by to assert against appearance and disappearance of elements in the DOM, had a quick note about manual queries, learned how to debug tests, and finally learned about the testing playground Chrome extension that helps find the best queries to select elements when writing tests. If all of this is clear, let's move on to the next section where we will learn about user events in React testing library. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.